Good morning. My name is Domingo Lope Rodriguez. I come from Universidad de Málaga. And I am presenting the talk called Topic Modeling in Social Networks with Formal Concept Analysis. The main objectives of this work are to present an approach to perform topic modeling on text documents by means of formal concept analysis and later to present the idea of clustering the concepts of a formal context with uh, the definition of a new semi-distance. First, let us introduce what topic modeling is. In text mining, topic modeling is a process that we perform to cluster collections of documents. That is, we group together a series of documents into clusters uh, that arise naturally. So each cluster represents a topic, a topic that can be understood or can be studied independently of the others. That is, uh, topic modeling is therefore a method of unsupervised classification of text documents. Topic modeling is based on two principles. First, we consider each document to be composed uh, by a mixture of several topics. For example, we, call, we could say that a um, document is 90% topic A and 10% topic B, while another document can have different percentages of the topics. And the second principle is that each topic is a mixture of words, of terms, and these terms appear in different proportions in different topics. The main techniques that are used in topic modeling are two statistical approaches that are called latent Dirichlet allocation and latent semantic analysis. These two mathematical methods uh, allow us to compute the joint estimation of these proportions, of the proportions of topics in each document and the proportion of terms in each topic. So, we want to approach this problem by means of another technique, another non-statistical technique. In this case, it is formal concept analysis. Formal concept analysis is a framework that is uh, defined, that is designed to uh, study datasets and that is strongly based on logic and lattice theory. It also allows us to represent the knowledge inside a dataset in two ways. First, by means of implications, that is, we can, we can consider implications as exact association rules between the attributes, that is, between the variables of a problem. The other way to represent the knowledge inside a dataset is the notion of concept. A concept is a closed set of attributes. It is equivalent to the notion of closed item sets in very well known in transactional databases. So, we have a strong framework that allows us to represent knowledge and one of the ways in which we represent the knowledge is in the form of closed sets in concepts. So, what are we going to do with FCA to be able to analyze documents and perform topic modeling? The idea is that we are going to use the binary document term matrix. A documenter matrix has some properties, the rows, also called the objects, are documents. In the columns of the dataset, we have the terms, the words, these are called the attributes, and in each cell of the table, we have a 0 or a 1, that is, we have a binary documenter matrix, and a 1 in one of these cells indicates that the given term is present in the corresponding document. So, we could apply clustering on this document thermatics, but this is the uh, classical technique. Instead of estimating the topics, 
from the set of documents, we will study the knowledge included in these documents by means of the lattice of concept. The, la the concept lattice incorporates all the internal knowledge of the documents, and we can extract this concept lattice from the documents and from this document term matrix. Then, we're going to perform topic modeling on the concepts themselves. So first, we have this documenter matrix. From this documenter matrix, we obtain the concepts and then we cluster the set of concepts, transferring back this clustering to the documents. Why are we clustering concepts? First, the concept lattice represents all the possible closed set of terms. That is, a concept is formed unitely by terms that appear jointly in all the documents. Uh, from FCA, from formal concept analysis, we know that a concept is also a maximal rectangular big cluster of, in this case, terms and documents. So, if we cluster the concepts, we are performing a clustering on a big clustering. So we are gaining some more information, we are using more information and knowledge than the simple clustering of documents. Which is the procedure we are going to apply to make topic modeling? First, the first ingredient we need to perform a clustering, as, uh, as it happened in classical clustering, is that we need a semi-distance or a distance between the items or between the entities we want to cluster. In this case, we need to define a semi-distance between the concepts. We have proposed this distance between two concepts, C1 and C2, in uh, that, that measures the number of closed sets that lie between them, the two concepts. How we measure it? Well, this formal expression well, with the supremum operator, that is this kind of V between C1 and C2, this expression means that once we are given two concepts, C1 and C2, we take the supremum of both let us call it C, okay? So we take the supremum of C1 and C2 in the lattice. Then we compute the shortest chain from this supremum to C1 and from this supremum to C2. So we have two chains of concepts from C to C1 and from C to C2. The sum of the length of these two shortest chains is what we call this distance or this semi-distance because it's not a distance because it does not satisfy the triangle inequality. Then, once we have computed all the pairwise distances between concepts, we can use any appropriate algorithm to cluster them. In this work we have used the partition around Midoid's algorithm. It's called by its initials PAM and it, it, relatively, uh, it finds the optimal partition into key clusters. So we have to pre-specify the number of clusters we need, like in topic modeling we need to specify the number of topics we want to find. So we set key, the number of clusters, and then we, this algorithm, find the optimal partition into key clusters. And then, in each cluster, it finds the central item, in this case, the central concept of this uh, cluster. If we make the analogy to topic modeling, we're providing, this way, we're providing the central concept for the document topic, the central idea. Of the document topic. Once we have the cluster of the concepts, we go back to cluster the documents. Each document is an object, remember? 
we can compute its object concept. The object concept is the uh, object, uh, sorry, the concept that contains the minimal concept that con contains that object. So we, this object concept has been assigned a partition, a cluster in, to the, in, in the partition we have just found. So we assign this document to the cluster given by its associated object concept. Let us show you a real example of uh, applying clustering concepts to uh, detect the topics uh, inside a collection of documents. In this case, we have extracted more than 9,000 tweets from the Twitter uh, database regarding two hashtags, COVID and Trump. These were the two hashtags. These were taken after the 2020 USA presidential elections. So they were very popular, these two hashtags. From these tweets, first we remove all those tweets with very few terms, with, uh, um, uh, with less than five terms. And from the more than 160 remaining, we only take the most frequent items, but what are the most frequent terms in this case? Those that appear in at least 0.5% of the tweets. In this case, we counted with 80 terms, with 80 attributes, and then we constructed the document term matrix. Well, as we said before, the document term matrix can be used to compute the concept lattice. In this case, the concept lattice has more than 3,500 concepts and we have computed all the pairwise distances using this definition of the semi-distance we have just explained. The related to the supremum and the chains. Then, once we have all these distances, we cluster these concepts using the partition around, uh, partition around Midoids algorithm. What did we find? We found that the terms in the central concepts were in one topic, COVID, and the second, Trump. Uh, we have to mention that we initialized to two topics. We wanted to find two topics because the swell silhouette index, that is very well known to detect the number of clusters in a dataset, told us to look for two clusters. So we imposed two clusters and we found that COVID was one of the central concepts and Trump was the other central concept. Uh, note that since the clustering was unsupervised, the procedure was being able to detect automatically the topics. Now we're presenting some results that relate the clusters to the original hashtags because we want to confirm the relationship between, between the found clusters and the original hashtags. First, we want to measure accuracy that measures the correct assignment of a cluster to a hashtag, the purity that measures how terms are assigned to only one topic, the currents measures that terms that co-appear often are assigned to the same topic, and contrast that measures how topics are strongly related to the terms it contains. And these are the results. Note that uh, all these measures, accuracy, purity, coherence, and contrast, the greater the better. So in this comparative, we have compared our proposal with latent Dirichlet allocation and latent semantic analysis. We have found that although purity, coherence, and contrast, uh, our proposal was very competitive uh, with the state of the art, in accuracy, our proposal is uh, outperforming all other techniques. This technique that is not considered statistical is able to outperform statistical measures. So we can affirm that our proposal can compete to the state of the art in topic modeling. 
As a conclusion, we want to know that formal concept analysis can be used with documented matrices as formal concepts in order to obtain valuable knowledge from collections of documents. We have presented the idea of concept clustering and this idea is based on the use of a novel semi-distance measured on the concept lattice. The semi-distance we have defined together with an appropriate clustering algorithms allow us to group similar concepts and these similar concepts can be extrapolated to topic modeling in social network analysis and we have obtained promising results at least comparable to the current state of the art. As future work, we will study the relationship of this semi-distance to other metrics that could be defined on the concept lattice and we want to analyze the use of graph theory to gain a better insight, a better understanding of the concept lattice. Thank you very much.